Hi, welcome to Firepower Threat Defense training video series. I'm Nanda. In this video, we'll look at establishing site-to-site -site VPN between FTD and ASA. This FTD will be managed through Firepower Management Center. Let's see. This is a topology that I'm going to use to demonstrate. Um, I have a FTD which is running on Fireball 2130 platform. Uh, the FTD version is 6.2.1 and it has been managed by a virtual FMC which is again 6.2.1. On the other side I have uh, AC which is 9.8.2 running on Fireball 21.10. I have a two windows host uh, which is on either side of the network. Uh, we'll try to establish a tunnel between um, AAC and Firepower Threat Defense. All the interface um, policies have already been configured on both FTD and AC. Right now in this video I'm going to sh just show you how to configure a remote access VPN uh, side to side VPN on FMC and subsequent uh, configuration on the ASA uh, and then do a test so uh, we are going to uh, use this Firepower 2130 which is running 621 uh, you can go to the device under device we have side to side VPN select add VPN Firepower thread defense so since it's going to be a side to side that is point to point I'm going to use this point to point I'm going to name the topology um, point to point for IP2, um, we can use both or either one. I'm going to use I, um, IP2. On the node A, I'm going to say that it is this Viper thread defense that is 2130, and then select the interface that is going to participate on the VPN that is outside, and it is going to list the IP address which is on the outside interface, which is 192.168.10.1. Um, so I'm going to use a pre shared key so I'm not going to use a certificate map and then connection type I'm going to use a bi-directional that is like E can be uh, initiator as well as a responder and then define or uh, define the protected network that is the inside network so I already have a network object which is inside iPhone NW which has a value of 1016.10.0 I'm going to select this add it we have um, configured on one endpoint that is FTD for the node B that is the peer network um, I need to define uh, select a device uh, that is AC since AC is not managed by Firepower management center I'm going to use extranet so use this option as extranet and then you can have a friendly name so I'm going to call it as AC FT21 chain and then the peer IP address um, which is 192.168.10. Here, as you could see it here, 192.168.10.3. And then I have to tell them what is the protected network behind um, the ASA, which for which I already have an object group, which is remote network I have already created, which is 1161.11.0. Added here, so uh, we have done with um, adding the uh, VPN identity device that is going to participate. The rest, uh, I need to change you know, for the authentication. That is, I have to use a pre shaky key. Um, here, with FMC by default, it is always points to pre shaky key, which is auto generated. That is, um, if all the participant uh, device are within this FMC the FMC is going to generate the pre key of its own and then sh um, apply that pre key to all the devices since here we have AC which is not managed by the firepower management center I'm going to use a manual pre key and then set a password of my own rest of the policy I'm going to leave it as default if you want you can change save the policy and uh, 
the next thing that you have to keep in mind is you have to either create a access control policy or the pre-filter rule to allow this VPN traffic so I have a pre-filter pol um, access control policy I'm going to so I have a rule which says permit any any uh, if uh, want to be very specific I can uh, be very specific to VPN device let's say So add the network that is uh, source will be from remote network and then destination will be your inside network and then if at all you want other inspection that um, application or URL I mean application you can enforce enforce them so I'm going to leave this as it is and then apply the policy and if this box has a NAT policy, you might have you have to create an IDT NAT for this rule. Um, we have a NAT rule, but uh, I don't see any NAT rule, so um, we uh, we don't have to create any IDT NAT for this VPN. But if you have any NAT configured on this box, uh, it is better. Uh, it is uh, advised to create a I twice identity that for VPN traffic. So let's go and deploy this policy to to the FTD. On the AC, I don't have a configuration right now. I'm going to um, I'm going to configure the AC policy. Uh, so I already have a configuration that is required uh, on the AC. Um, so for your reference, I'm going to keep this configuration on the video description. You can uh, use it as your reference. First ACL. Crypto ACL. A crypto IPsec proposal, and then crypto map. And then tunnel route. So uh, we have done configuration on the AC. Let's check if FMC has completed deploying the policy. Deployment is completed. You can verify the configuration on the FTD using show run crypto. So run tunnel group. So you can verify all this policy configuration on the FTD. So let's um, generate some traffic and verify if uh, uh, traffic is passing through the device. This is the host on the inside network. So I'm going to test trying to reach the host on the AC in host um, host IP. So the tunnel is established let's go and verify on the device on the EAC I can do show crypto as you can be saw so I can see the tunnel is up in between 192.168.10.3 up to 192.168.10.1 which is FTD and then the participant networks are 172.16.11.0 to 172.16.10.1 network uh, you can verify on ip6 or as well so uh, we have seen the reply detection and then attendance up similarly you can verify it on the ftt with the same commands The tunnel is up. With this, we have come to the end of this video. Uh, 
I'll see you soon in next video with more options. Thank you. Bye-bye.